Hello, BAME Farm fans. We're shade tree mechanicing. Now, there's nothing to worry about here. Nothing's broken. No problems. It seems our axle seal is okay, which we're not gonna deal with that today. It's fine, um, but I just had that thought because we have the wheel off that we could fiddle with that. We're not gonna open too many cans of worms. Huh, there's a weight. Uh, what, what are those powder blue things? Well, that's the paint I had. I found these weights in a junkyard. They're big, they're heavy. They're the internal weights that Ford hid on the inside of the wheels. Um, and that's, <laughs> I'm also gonna hide these because, well, I was too lazy to go find paint. It's about getting things done here on the farm as best as possible. And this wasn't a model paint job, so I didn't show any of that off. We got the wheel off. Uh, that went pretty well. Which maybe we'll show that out when we put it back on. There's three bolts that hold a wedge in. And then you put two of the bolts back in the holes to push the wedge out. And you see that silver stuff right there? That's probably good and bad. That is... Um, uh, uh, what's it called? I don't know. I don't use it much. Anti-seize. That's what it is. So we all look like the Tin Man. The previous owner put anti-seize, which it came apart. Great. Perfect. Wonderful. It came apart. The problem is, hopefully, it doesn't cause issues with things sliding too easy and sliding on the axle. Uh, so we gotta get to the action. We gotta set those weights in there and then put even more weight on. We gotta go find more weights. We're gonna make this tractor heavy on the back. To, you know, we're gonna put all that power through the back wheels and a small bit through the front wheels. You know, they won't be useless out there, but they shouldn't be doing all that work. Here we go in the fast working and slow talking portion. Um, putting the weights in. I didn't get it recorded as well as I wanted to. Um, like, it's hard to find places to put the camera. There would be a whole lot of, say, work otherwise. Like, here we gotta put some washers to space this weight out from the casting, because things kind of hit. The holes line up. But I think the cast center is from a TW to like an 8,000 for which these weights came off of was a little different. So we're flying through it. Well, we missed taking the wheel off because I wanted one wheel to practice and figured I'd film the second wheel. Well, I was running out of battery when I got to the second wheel and didn't have my new camera yet, which came with an extra battery. So now I've got a new camera, that's a good thing to note. It wasn't too bad putting these wheels on and off, thanks to all that anti-seize. Um, put The only challenge was, is reaching in there with that weight on, on the back, put the wedge in, and then the holes on the wedge and the holes in the wheel casting, um, you know, they didn't line up perfectly because he had to have the wedge far enough in on the axle and in the casting to get the bolts lined up because, you know, the wedge is obviously, it's, it's not going in parallel. So when the wedge is really far out, the holes don't line up very well. And I was afraid we'd mess up threads. I don't think we did because it obviously pulled in tight. Yes, fast working. Now we moved these wheels in about five and a half inches from where they were. When we got it, the wheels were almost all the way out on the axle. I wanted to adjust the power adjust wheels because the the center is pretty far out on the rim um, but we didn't we left it where it was there's not enough axle sticking out if we wanted to put duels on this but i don't have hubs and uh you know with the front wheels pulling theoretically we shouldn't need duels and that's one thing i don't feel like purchasing right now with fuel and fertilizer prices going out the roof I'm kind of on a hold on buying too much stuff at the moment. And, uh, you know, now that it's raining a bunch, and I'm getting to edit all these videos. Well, the rain's not helping me. I got corn to replant. So right here, we're spinning the tractor around, trying to get it so the wedge is on the top side. And it ended up being, like, perfectly at the bottom or something there. So let's go for another spin. We're also going to miss out on... Um, after this scene right here, I take it out and make a pass or two at the chisel plow uh, because one of the um, wedge unlocking holes 
threads are messed up on, and you can't really push the wedge out with one bolt, unfortunately. I didn't want to try it, so I just went out in the field with, you know, the, the locking bolts loose, and it, it popped loose. No big deal. So these are the weights that came with the tractor. They were not put on it. The previous owner took them off to make the tractor lighter since he was just bush hogging. But somehow he missed taking off all the front weights. Um, I wish I could have found another set like these. Um, but the inner ones I found, I thought I got them comparatively cheap um, for like five. I don't know, four or five hundred bucks for two of them. I thought it was a pretty good deal. I mean, they're not pretty weights, they're just, they're heavy, that's what they are. Ah, well, wasn't that lovely? The weights are on. Yeehaw. So we're out in the field. Uh, we're getting ready to get after it. Um, I need to check the wheel bolts again. Snug them down. I brought the impact with me in the socket. Yeah, I'm being lazy. I could have, uh, you know, you brought a big break, breaker bar, but we're just going, you know, full ugga dugga on the impact. And tighten it that way. I mean, I broke them loose without a breaker bar, so I figured if the impact could break them loose, then it should be able to get it tight. I didn't touch up the paint uh, on these. I need to. I just don't have any good Ford White. Because <laughs> if we come in here... Hey, look at that. Look at that. Nice powder blue weight. And that one is less noticeable. It's a lighter shade of blue. Um, but I was borrowing... <laughs> The leftover paint mom had from when she used to spray paint gourds like she used to do like a base coat on them um, and she's given up doing it with spray paint and is painting them by hand now instead so there's a lot of leftover cans of random colors uh, and i we didn't have any ford blue or white they don't stick out too much on the outside they actually look pretty good the inside weights it's a i think it's an ugly design back in there because they're designed for the old style Ford wheels that are like some of the earlier internationals where instead of a wedge system there's like bolts that go in the side here and a cast loop so it looks kind of like a u-bolt almost and that's what that this one has got a cut out for that somewhere I can't see but hopefully you guys can see it back there Definitely stuck those on the inside because they're, since they're not symmetrical, really bothers my OCD. So, we're going to do a quick check on the tightness of these. I'm sure they're tight. Um, I don't know if it's be good that they were uh, slathered with anti C's when the previous owner had the wheels off. Okay. We need an adapter to reach in there now to get past the weight. Those are all tight. Here comes the noise. Well, that wasn't loose. Technically, you're supposed to do this with the uh, the weight, or not the weight, with the wedge on top, so there's no weight on it. Um, we'll see how this goes. Even I did a test run, which you didn't see in the video, of uh, when we had one wheel weight on because we couldn't break this wedge loose. That hole, the threads are messed up in to push the wedge back. Okay. I got a little bit more on this one. We'll test it again. Okay. Uh, so to break the wedge loose, I just went out and went out in the garden and made a pass or two and that and that pop was enough to pop it so we could only use uh, the one bolt to push the wedge out. So we're here. We've uh, checked tightness. Yeah, I'll put some of this in here. Check tightness on our wedge locks. And now we're ready to roll. Unfortunately that toolbox isn't big enough for the impact, but it is pretty big. So, it's plow time. Time to turn up some dirt, bury our cover of weeds, and air out the soil, because I'm sure it's gonna rain sometime soon.
it now. Of course, it also helps uh, when the ground's drier. That helps with wheel slip. When the ground's dry, well, the, the mud doesn't let things slip so much. swimming here. Now, the farther back we go, uh, uh, there's uh, a moist section just right across the middle part. It's actually flat in the back. It's behind us, I call the front. This field is much, much drier. You take on a lot of water runs off. It's got slope. Yes, slope is wonderful. 